Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. A wire cable is cut in two pieces. The shorter piece is 28 centimeters. If the lengths of the pieces are in a 5 to 2 ratio, what is the length of the longer piece? All right, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take one more look at this question before I show you the answer. So a wire cable is cut in two pieces. The shorter piece is 28 centimeters. If the lengths of the pieces are any five to two ratio, what is the length of the longer piece? All right, so let's go ahead and see the answer right now. Hopefully you got this right. And the correct answer is 70 centimeters. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%. And multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in solving math word problems that involve ratios. And if a math word problem involves a ratio, it's likely you're going to have to use a proportion to solve these type of problems. Uh, matter of fact, uh, ratio and proportion problems are super common in math. So if you didn't get this right, no worries. I'll have you looking like this in a couple of minutes. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. And of course, it's going to be essential that you understand what a ratio is. Now, if you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I remember something about ratios in my math class. Well, when you study ratio, or ratios rather, uh, you're also studying something called rates. And if you study ratios and rates or rates and ratios, you also study something called proportions, right? This is a huge topic in mathematics. Matter of fact, at all levels of math. And uh, again, this is not that difficult, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the problem again. Now, I've already, I've already read the problem a couple times, right? So hopefully you're, you're like, yes, I understand what's going on. But let's suppose this is your first time seeing the problem. Always use the rule of three. That means read the problem at least three times and make sure you understand what the question is. Because if you don't, what ends up happening is the following. You could be like, oh, I'm going to read the problem. I understand. You're so excited. And you start going down a particular road. And you're like, wait a minute, uh, this is the wrong path. I'm totally confused. And you'll go back and you'll be like, let me read that problem again. You'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I should have done this. So to avoid wasting time, and this is really important for those of you that are students, you know, it's just always better to let your brain kind of kick in and, you know, reflect upon, hey, what's the information? What's going on? What are some good strategies to solve this problem? And a great strategy that you should always uh, uh, use when you're solving a math word, pro word problem, excuse me, is to model the problem. And the best way to model a problem like this is to visualize it. So let's go ahead and visualize what's going on. So we have this cable. And we have uh, two pieces of this cable, right? We cut this uh, into two pieces, and the shorter piece is 28 centimeters. And uh, we have this ratio of 5 to 2, and we're looking for the length of the longer piece. So our unknown value here is the length of this longer piece. So let's use a variable like x to represent the length of the longer piece. So let's go ahead and just kind of see this right here with this lovely little sketch. Okay, so here is my cable. I cut it in two pieces. The shorter piece is 28 centimeters. I'm looking for the longer piece. I don't know what length that, uh, that is, so I'll just um, assign a variable for x. Of course, we're gonna be looking to solve for x. But what's important about this problem is this right here, this ratio. So what is a ratio? Well, you can see uh, we have uh, two and five here, or five to two. It means that 
the proportion of the shorter length and the longer length are in a five to two ratio. So in other words, if um, if we kind of just zoom da uh, down here, uh, we could have the same proportion as two centimeters and five centimeters right here, okay? This would be the same proportion as 28 centimeters and whatever this longer piece is. So this is what uh, this ratio is kind of telling us. But a ratio, just uh, for a quick review, is effectively a fraction okay it's a fraction that is comparing well it's it's a um it's when we compare two numbers of the same units of measure by a fraction okay so more or less it is a fraction so we're using the word two so anytime you see the word two uh, we're talking about a, a ratio so you can write this this way five to two okay where the fraction bar represents the two you could write this as uh, like this as well five to two or you could even write it using this colon here, five to two, okay? Now you can also write it this way, two to five. So you gotta be kind of careful with these things. Now, we're talking about ratios. Uh, let's just go ahead and talk about what a rate is real quick because it is a related uh, topic. So a rate is when you have the word per, okay? So the word per, so let's say like 60 miles per, one hour, okay, so 60 miles per one hour, so it's 60 miles per one hour. Now notice here, the units of measure that we're comparing are completely different, so we're comparing distance and time. So the, the difference between a rate and a ratio is uh, with a rate, you're comparing uh, two different units of measure, completely different, like time uh, and volume, or, or I'm sorry, uh, distance and uh, time, uh, or uh, you can have uh, gallons per minute, you know, all sorts of different type of things. But, you you know, look out for this word per, and that is your fraction bar. With a ratio, you'll hear the word two or you'll see the word two. And again, this is a big topic in math, but whether you're dealing with a ratio or a um, a rate, what you need to be thinking is the following. You got to be like, all right, let me see here. Uh, this guy is telling me uh, that a ratio uh, may have something to do with a proportion. So uh, this is how we solve ratio problems. Typically, is using a proportion. And what is a proportion? Well, I'll show you that right now. Okay, so a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions. Okay, so uh, for example, if I have a fraction one half. And let's just think of another fraction that's equal to one half. How about like say five over 10? So this is a proportion. So it's nothing more than two equal fractions. And when you have two equal fractions, we have something called the cross product. And that means if you cross multiply like this, one times 10 is 10 and two times five is, is uh, 10 as well. So when you have two equal fractions, i.e. a proportion, the cross product is true. And we need to understand this property of proportions uh, to solve proportion problems. But uh, what we have here is that the length of this cable, when we cut it into two pieces, are in proportion. Okay, And the ratio is 2 to 5 or 5 to 2. But effectively, we can kind of think of it this way. So the shorter piece is, so let's say, 2 units long, and the longer piece will be 5. Well, whatever this proportion is, uh, you know, it's going to be the same as if our shorter piece is 28 centimeters. And of course, we don't know what the length of our longer piece is. This is what we're looking for. But you can see that we need to set up a proportion uh, to solve this problem. Okay, we're going to be using this ratio. So 2 to 5, the short to the long is 2 to 5 units. And our shorter piece is 28 to we don't know the longer piece, right? So 28 to the longer piece, so we can write that over 28 over X. And of course, X represents the length of the longer piece. But just make sure when you set up a proportion, this is a very common error that students make. The, we have to make sure that our numerator and denominator are representing the same uh, value or the same um, uh, concept. So here, it, the numerator is the shorter piece. So on both sides, the uh, uh, the proportion, excuse me, uh, we got to make sure that, okay, we have the shorter piece here and the denominators uh, represent the longer piece. Okay, so this is what we have. 2 over 5 is equal to 20 over x. And if we can solve for x, we will have answered the question, which is what is the length of the longer piece? 
Okay, so let's go to take the next step, and the next step is to solve this proportion, or sorry, and uh, 2 over 5 is equal to 28 over x, but I got a little off track because really what I wanted to say is that, hey, the next step is to have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel, but uh, let's go ahead and have you take care of this right now. Um, I definitely need your support. You know, I've been on YouTube for a long time. The only way it's been possible for me to grow my channel is if... You know, I figure if I'm delivering some sort of value, i.e. if I'm actually teaching something uh, where people, you know, need to understand. So if you are a math student and you're like, you know what, I need to understand ratios, proportions, you know, uh, hey, if I know something about it and I can help you, well, then, you know, or help someone else, uh, then, you know, I'm doing a good service, at least in my little mind's eye. But I can't continue to grow my channel unless I get people to actually hit that subscribe button. Okay, that's the way my channel grows, and that's um, what I need because my objective is to help as many people as possible. So if you're going to subscribe, go and hit that notification bell as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, by the way, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I very, very much appreciate it. Uh, but if you are new to my YouTube channel, you'll find well over 2,000 videos from uh, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So that's why I make a lot of videos. I'm pretty much posting every day because I'm trying to, you know, cover a wide range of math topics. Okay, so now let's go to get into how to solve this proportion. Again, this is a, 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 a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions. And we can see here we have one fraction equaling to another fraction. How do you think we're going to solve this? Well, if you're saying, how about that cross product uh, thing? Well, then you would be absolutely correct. So let's go ahead and uh, solve this proportion by using the cross product. And this is pretty uh, easy. It just requires a little basic algebra, but nothing too scary. So let's go ahead and use the cross product again. We're going to cross multiply 2 times x is 2x, and then 5 times 28 is, of course, 5 times 28. And we can go to our calculator. We just do this uh, in, our, in our brain, if you can actually do this in your brain, or on a piece of paper. So 5 times 28 is 140. So 2x is equal to 140. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 70. All right, so that's how we solve this little basic uh, ratio and proportion problem. Again, huge topic in math. You are going to uh, run into a lot of these type of problems. So it's essential that you understand what a ratio is and what a rate is and what a proportion is because you're going to see these problems throughout all levels of math. Okay, matter of fact, uh, even in geometry, these are not just algebra problems, but in geometry, you do a lot of ratio and proportion problems. And matter of fact, there's a lot of different properties about proportions other than other than just the cross product. So, but that's for another uh, video. Now, if you need help with algebra or just practicing word problems, first of all, a couple quick suggestions. I have a ton of additional uh, videos like uh, word problem uh, videos on my YouTube channel, so you can check those out. But if you uh, are struggling with the algebra and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I just need to kind of learn this stuff, well, check out all my main courses. You'll find links to them in the description below. If you need to learn proportions, um, I have full chapters on this topic, um, well, rates, ratios, and proportions in both my pre-algebra and algebra courses. You'll find uh, the links to those courses again in the description. But hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.